Hey, are you a realtor that does open houses to get buyer leads, but wish there was a better way to capture the data? If that's you, pay attention. I'm about to go over a real easy way, especially with technology. What's up, everybody? Brandon Melvin, eXp Realty. So if you haven't heard of a QR code, we're about to go over what that is and how you can use it to capture buyer leads. And more importantly, besides just their name, phone number, and email, we're also going to ask them a few other questions that you most typically won't see on any kind of sign-in sheet. So let's get right into it. So go ahead, open up a new window browser in Chrome and go to Google Forms, okay? And when you get to Google Forms, if it's not already out there, locate in your template gallery, contact information, go ahead and click on that. That's the form we're gonna use for the open house sign-in sheet, the digital one that is. So let's make a few adjustments here. Let's make this say open house. And then I also like to put the address here, whatever that is, fill in blank. And then in the form description, we will type in sign in slash seller feedback, right? Because we want to be able to provide that for our sellers to provide value. And then like you would typically have in your pen and paper sign in sheet, you'd have your name, email, maybe an address and a phone number, right? So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put in full, all right? And then keep it a short answer so that they can fill out the text and keep it required. Okay, anything with the little red uh, asterisk here means it is required for them to move on and fill in the sheet. So I go ahead and I, I make the address not required because some people may think that's too invasive. First meeting, um, if they feel like uh, you know they want to, then they can. That's perfect. And then the phone number, I do want that, however, because this day and age, um, some people don't like calls, but they will be okay with texts. So I will do that. And then I'm gonna put that above there. Um, and so also you'll notice we have comments. Um, so I'm gonna make this seller feedback again. Okay, keep it consistent. And long answer text in a paragraph. Uh, so that they can provide as much feedback as they would like. And we don't have this one as required, um, but it would be great if they did. Now you can change these to required if you feel comfortable doing that or if you would like that. But also, so this is what you might normally see, right? Except maybe for the feedback, that's a little extra. Um, let's go ahead, we'll add a new tab here and I wanna bring this above the address. And what this question is, let's go ahead and start with, are you working? with a realtor, pretty good to know, right? So it gives you suggestions. We'll go ahead and take them, yes, no, because those are both the answers that we're you know, looking for. And I wanna make this required, right? I wanna know that uh, so that I can provide the best service for them. And then we're gonna add another question here. Um, so you can add as many questions as you'd like. I recommend only adding maybe another two more, if that, um, just so you can uh, get uh, enough information, but not too much to bog them down. And then I've also actually started one right here uh, so that we can get uh, a little bit uh, quicker into this uh, information. I've also added my photo and my brokerage name up there as well. Uh, so it looks a little customized. So open house, uh, feedback, signing sheet, full name, uh, phone number, currently working with a realtor. And here's into those questions. So how soon are you looking to buy? Less than three months, between three and six months, six and 12, and then more than 12 gives you an idea on time frame. Now this one's actually cool. Please check all that apply, all right? So when you make another question, the check boxes is the choice that you're gonna wanna have, right? And so you would say, I need to sell and buy. I would like a free buyer consultation, market analysis, first time home buyer, down payment, etc. And they have the ability to check each one as they're going through uh, the responses here. So let me show you what that looks like. Oh, first let's go into uh, the image here so that you can do that on your own if you'd like as well. See this little paint up here? Let's go ahead and click on that icon and then upload an image. And they've got some here that uh, you can browse through and, and uh, you know, if you, you want, you can use those things, but I would recommend uploading something uh, personal to you. And I have my headshot and EXP logo. So we're putting that on there and then Make a small adjustment here. Voila, it's done. And check that out. Boom, right there. And you can customize the colors, uh, whatever you like. And uh, cool stuff, right? So what do you do with this? So back to the QR code, right? This is the site that I like to use. I'll refresh this. Um, what you need to do 
this is actually qr-code-generator.com is the one that I use and it's free. They've got a couple upgrades that you can pay for but I don't really need to so and on if you don't want to you don't have to. So we'll go back to this, copy that, go back to the QR code website for the URL. There's all kinds of different things you can use here but this one we're going to need the URL. Okay, paste your website and it should populate right there. Boom. We can go. We're done. Download it. But I like to make a few adjustments here that are free. Um, Want to put scan me on here. That's pretty cool. Um, and then I usually choose the dots just because it's my style. And then you can change colors, whatever you like as well. I like bright stuff. So let's go with green. Download and give it a few seconds. Your QR code is being generated. Do not refresh or exit. It's going to pop up down here in just one moment. Look at that. Click on it. And this is what you'll print out. You can put it at your front door, put it at the desk. You can actually um, keep this on your phone and have the customers when they come in uh, scan this, act like they're going to take a photo with their phone, scan it. It'll pop up a link. They click on the link. Guess where it brings them? You got it right here. They fill this out. And when you go back to your computer, you have all of these responses, right? And it gives you the idea of, you know, please check off all the, all the responses to the answers, right? And so that way you know um, the clientele uh, that's coming through uh, the doors and then how you can best serve them. And on top of that, you can download this into a CSV format, then upload it into your CRM, follow up, follow up, follow up. All right, everybody, I hope y'all enjoyed all that information and I hope it brings you more buyers and your ability to follow up and get them the home that they're looking for. All right, so again, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button, then subscribe, and then hit the bell so every time we come out with a new video, the Real to Real Real Estate Tip of the Week, you get notified. I'll see y'all next time.